Boo, it's me again. I had to bring back the Domo half of this one, ladies and gentlemen, or just gentlemen, extraterrestrial beings, whatever you are. Regardless, we have some interesting news that occurred today, that happened today, and it's the fact that we have a Crash Bandicoot mobile title that has been announced. And of course, digging into the screenshots, this render looks awful. I don't know what's going on with this man's head and like his eyebrow area, but this just, this is not it. This looks... This looks pretty bad, I'm not gonna front, okay? It could be better. Uh, he looks like a crackhead. But, in terms of the design overall, like in a better shot, uh, like this one in particular, looks pretty good. I'm still not a fan of the beach shorts, reminiscent of Insane Trilogy, but I don't mind it too much. It doesn't really bother me to a high degree or caliber or anything. And uh, speaking of high degree and caliber, there are people that are genuinely upset that this got announced because they're, uh, they, they have this uh, false ideology or or um, I, or they just they just think that this is the new game, the big brand new game, which I don't think this is the case at all. Considering the fact that mobile games require far less resources to create uh, than console titles, I feel like this could give more time for the developers, be it Vicarious Visions or Toys for Bob or Beanox or all three or whoever the hell, to um, make the game as good as possible, give it as much life and quality as possible. Uh, looking at the screenshots of the game, though, it's just, it's, I can't say it's Temple Run, because Crash Bandicoot existed before Temple Run, so, like, now he's kind of late to his own idea, even though he already did it on a console, and, like, there's people that are genuinely upset at the fact that this is a linear hallway gameplay when the originals did that. <laughs> It is actually ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I have to stream in like 16 minutes, and I just got done playing Bloody Roar 2 with a friend of mine, and I have to use the bathroom, but I wanted to do this video quick, uh, merely due to the fact that, uh, you know, this is new, and, you know, it's not too overwhelming in terms of information, so, you know, I figured this would be a nice, quick little video to uh, talk about this on. And whatnot. Uh, in terms of what I think about the game, like what it, I mean, ex excuse me. In terms of what I think the game looks like, how the game looks, I mean, it looks okay. It looks kind of nice. Um, other than that, I mean, it's just a mobile game. It's just gonna be Sonic Dash, but with Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> That's like the most relevant comparison I could probably bring up. Or rather, it's just gonna be reminiscent of how the games used to play on P back in the PS1 days slash the insane trilogy but i do actually like this render of uh crash bandicoot not render excuse me th th this this first render looks terrible this one looks all right but in terms of the design which is what i really want to talk about it actually reminds me of something which i'm gonna pull up right now yeah so if you look at this and then if you look at this oh god not that let me close that out that shit is actually like nightmare inducing holy crap but uh yeah if you look at this crash render right here and then if you look at the screenshot of this old crash of the titans art piece it actually looks very very reminiscent of that like it's like incredibly accurate i like the little whisker thing they got going on because it's very reminiscent of radical era crash specifically the titans and modern Mutant era crash and i really like that uh, it's just that the eyes are a bit they're just small um they're not really big however the one thing that i do find kind of rather strange is is uh the fact that they're using insane trilogy renders to promote the game now what's really contradictory about this whole thing from a design standpoint is the fact that crash has a slightly updated new design meanwhile the other established characters do not so yes while our favorite characters might be back why do they exactly not have new designs that's low-key questionable uh, the other thing that i almost forgot to cover was this whole building grow your base I don't know what to make of this exactly. I'm just gonna assume this has something to do with online multiplayer and people playing in someone else's levels, which are bases, or exploring other people's levels, which are bases or something. We really don't know too many details regarding this game, but based on the screenshot alone, uh, if you don't click the install button anyway, like my stupid ass did, um, you know, it's just a linear hallway type game. I'll be very surprised if there's more than what's shown here, but other than that, yeah, that's pretty much all I can really say in regards to this title. Um, I just hope that for sure this isn't foreshadowing the possibility uh, that, uh, excuse me, no. I, 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 I have a little subconscious fear 
that this may be foreshadowing a new title that is not open-ended in terms of level structure or an open world type game it, it might just be something linear that's what i'm kind of hoping isn't the case but regardless this will hold people over just a little bit um it's it's something um i can't keep saying oh this is gonna be good for people that didn't experience you know the original so they can play it on their phone because we have the insane trilogy on a handheld hybrid type device the nintendo switch we have it on ps4 we have it on pc and we have it on xbox one so how many times do people need to keep re-experiencing the same type of gameplay that everyone is already familiar with it just it's it's gonna get really really stale but that's just my whole opinion on it i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video i have to stream in legitimately one minute but that's impossible because i still haven't used the restroom yet so i gotta take care of that and then go live so if you're around come to my stream we can chill or whatever and uh yeah so hope you guys have yourselves a good night and yeah don't break or cry about crash being on mobile because this isn't the first time and this is a good way for crash to be on mobile because it's legitimately just a linear hallway game thing and that's what the originals were so yeah peace